What's up guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about niche blogging versus general blogging and how you can make either work for you. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How, and I help people learn how to use technology to build an online business. Now, if you're just getting started or considering starting a blog, you may have asked yourself the question, should I start a niche blog focused on a specific topic only, or should I start a general blog where I give myself the freedom to write about different types of topics. Let's first break down the differences between the two. So you've got over here, you've got niche blogging and over here we've got general blogging. So niche blogging would be something that's focused on a very specific topic. So one topic. This could be something like art or even more focus, you could do painting. It could be focused on cooking. It could be focused on Pilates. It could be focused on basket weaving. Any sort of very specific niche topic would be considered a niche blog. Now a general blog would be something like a lifestyle blog. That's a term that a lot of people throw out is, oh, I'm a lifestyle blogger. It's kind of a, a, a fancy way to say that you're a general blogger. You just blog about anything. So lifestyle blogs might have multiple topics. Maybe they have a category on their blog for cooking and a category for travel and a category for decorating. You might have a, a few different interests and you don't wanna focus on one sole interest, so you write about a lot of different types of interests. Now, let me talk about some pros and cons of each type of blogging. So if we're starting first with niche blogging, let's talk about some pros and some cons. A very big pro with niche blogging is that you're very focused for SEO. Now, Google loves niche websites. If you have a website that is very focused on a niche topic, Google views that as high authority. They wanna see a website that is a one-stop shop for information, that has information about everything involved in a very specific topic, a place where people come and stay for a long time because they're diving deep into the details of a topic, a, a website that has more information about a specific topic than maybe the general or, or lifestyle blogs do. And they'll give that type of website more favor. So a focused SEO effort is definitely a pro of having a niche blog. Now a con or one of the biggest cons of a niche blog is that you can be very limited. Now you could be limited in your content creation, meaning that maybe you have a very small niche like underwater basket weaving. And how many blog articles can you really write about that? How many different topics can you cover about that specific niche topic? So you could be limited in your uh, content creation strategy, but you could also be limited by your audience. A lot of people like to think, oh, I'm a lifestyle blogger so I can appeal to everybody. Whereas like if I'm only uh, blogging about uh, crocheting, then only people who like crocheting are going to want to read my blog. And so you're limiting yourself. Now, I don't think that limiting yourself as far as audience goes is a bad thing because usually people that focus down actually are the ones who grow a bigger audience. But being limited can be something that can be, uh, I guess, scare away some people from the niche blogging. Let's talk a little bit about some pros and cons of general blogging. Now you're gonna see that these are kind of are the opposites of what we just talked about. A pro of general blogging are options meaning kind of like the opposite of being limited, you have a lot of options. There's a lot of different things you can write about. There's a lot of different people that you can reach. But one of the cons is that exact opposite of what we talked about with niche blogging, is that you're trying to please everyone. Now this is actually a bad thing in the eyes of SEO and Google, but it can also be a bad thing for building an audience. It's kind of like the saying, he who chases two rabbits catches none. If you're always all over the place with your topics and you're writing about this and that, first of all, Google's not going to know what your website is about. They're not gonna know where to put you, where to rank you, what, what type of content you're creating on a consistent basis. The other thing is your audience might be all over the place. Maybe someone wants to read about travel, 
but then you're writing about cooking and they d want nothing to do with cooking. So that can also be a challenge with general blogging is you, you're trying to focus on everyone when in reality, you're attracting no one. So that brings us to the big question. Which one is right for you? Now, the truth of the matter is there is no right answer. There are thousands of people being very successful with niche blogging and general blogging. The more important thing than choosing a niche blog or a general blog is choosing your content strategy, coming up with a very specific content strategy that fits your needs and your desires. It's important that you're doing what you want to do because if you're forcing yourself down one path or another because you think it's the best business decision, it's actually not going to be the best decision for you in the long run because you're not in it for the right reason. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, you got to be in it for the right reason. Don't be in it for the money. Don't be in it for the business. I don't believe that. I think it's great to start things with a business mindset knowing this is a good business strategy. This is a good business decision. But if it's not the decision for you, it's not going to matter. If you go to start a niche website because you think, oh, if I blog about drones, um, I don't like drones at all, but if I blog about drones, I'm going to be really rich and successful because there's a huge need and there's a great opportunity and I'm niche focused and people buy drones and they're expensive. That's not going to work out in the long run. You're not going to enjoy writing about it. It's going to be a chore to you. It's not going to be fun for you. And all the reasons that you wanted to start a blog for, for it to be free, to give you freedom, to be fun, to be engaging, you're not doing it for those right reasons. And it's not going to be a successful business where on the other hand, maybe you want to write about a lot of different things, but you're worried that it's not going to be the best business decision. If you love it enough, you will find a way. I promise you. So if you want to do a general blog, if you want to write about a lot of different things, that's great. Just know that you need to have a strategy in mind if you want to turn your blog into a business. And if you want to do a niche topic, realize that you're not going to please everyone. You have to get that out of your head. You're not going to attract everyone, but you'll find that usually the more you focus down, the more people you'll actually reach. Now, once you're ready to get started with your blog, make sure you check out the link in the description below this video because I've got a website to help you get started with your blog. Step-by-step -step instructions to show you exactly how to get started with your WordPress blog. And on my YouTube channel, we're going to talk all about building an online business. I'm going to show you some tutorials, how to use some different technology and how to have a strategy that you can use to turn your blog into a full-time income, into an online business. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, go check out the tutorial instructions on how to get started with your blog today. I think you'll really enjoy it and I think it'll really help you out and get started on the right foot. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.